Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well, even though our Earth is not doing well. The United Nations state that the global temperatures will rise 3 until 10 degrees Fahrenheit by the century's end enough to have the polar caps all melted. If the ice caps melt, a vast majority of our country's border will be underwater. Monuments and great buildings as well as homes and live will be underwater, including Indonesia. Because of what? It is because of the climate change, an urgent threat to health, food supplies, biodiversity, and livelihoods across the globe. Are we aware of this, of the impact in the future because of the climate change? Climate change is no longer some far off problem. It is happening here and now. Therefore, on this occasion, I'm Clarissa Cynthia from class IR 22 sp an undergraduate student of international relation at LSPR Jakarta Communication and Business Institute would like to convey about climate change as the fulfillment of the third task of the public speaking and presentation presentation skill course with Mr. Charles Bonar Sirait as our lecturer. Say climate change and see how most people react. I find it's a bit like sustainable development, a phrase at which many people quietly glaze off and switch off. So here's the first point, don't switch off. Climate change is, isn't just a word, it is a real thing. And man-made climate change is a very scary real thing. The rise in global temperature over the last several decades is a matter of public records. There is an overwhelming scientific consensus that it can only be explained by one thing. The rise in greenhouse gas emission caused by human activities. The average temperature on the surface of the planet has already increased 1.7 degrees Fahrenheit since 1880, which may not seem like much. But think about it this way. The heat from human emissions is roughly equal to 400,000 Hiroshima atomic bombs exploding across the planet every single day. Future generations are in big trouble, but for now, it will continue to get warmer and storms will grow more intense, with longer periods of drought between. But longer term, if emission continue to rise unchecked, the climate disaster will be so severe. They will destabilize entire nation, send millions of refugees across borders, cause widespread extinction of most species on Earth, and melt the polar ice cape, leaving most of the world coastal cities several feet underwater. Worst case, the collapse of food production causes spiraling price, and as our capitalist utopia breakdowns, billions starve as our world gets violent and messy real quick, kind of like a zombie apocalypse. If emissions continue unchecked, we are looking at total rise of between 80 to 160 feet, which could, which would occur if all the ice in the poles melted. So the ocean will rise. The, question, the real question is how fast? Scientists only have Earth history to base their prediction on, which suggests that the rate has occasionally hit one foot per decade. So we will have to adapt to an altered coastline sooner or later, but probably much sooner than later. Because every time the amount of carbon dioxide in the air rises, the earth warms up, ice melt, and the ocean rise. Yes, scientists have been publishing strong evidence that uh, warming is making drug and heat wave more frequent, cause, uh, causing heavier rainstorms and more severe coastal flooding. But while in the internet has made us all more aware of weather disaster in distant countries, 
it's hard to prove this all directly directly made worse by climate change although they probably they probably are we can reduce our carbon footprints by doing things like installing a smart thermostat, uh, taking public transit, taking less airplane trips, buying an electric car. A big one is eating less meat. Something as simple as walking instead of taking the car will help reduce pollution. So, the next time you get into your car or your, motor, uh, or your motorbike, think do I have to make this journey by bicycle or can I walk? If possible, buy your fruit and vegetable from local suppliers and try to avoid imported goods. The more foreign food that we import, the more pollution from aeroplanes and boats it will create. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Only buy what you need. Reuse whatever you can, like containers and paper, and recycle what you cannot re reuse. It really is as simple as that. Considering that we have been ignoring scientists' warning since uh, the 80s to limit emission, we are pretty late in the game. But we have finally reached a moment where nearly every country in the world agrees this is a huge problem and seem ready to commit to taking uh, at least some kind of action. But it's up to us, the ordinary citizen. So we can conclude that by now, we are all aware. We want to live in a world without the destructive power of a warming planet. So we have to do it together because the earth is what we all have in common. The climate crisis has already been solved. We already have the facts and solution. All we have to do is wake up and change. This is the only hope we have. That's all that what I can say. I hope it can be useful for all of us. And if you can share this video, it will help it spread. Together, we will create, create change. I'm Clarissa Cynthia, thank you for your kind attention and best wishes.